Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a nail tutorial with a little bit of a difference. I'm not going to be doing any painting or freehand um, nail art this week. Um, I am in fact going to be showing you how to recreate these, which are sort of gold leopard print um, nail wraps. Um, they come in this little pack here, which is from Primark. Um, for three pounds. Um, I have seen them a couple of times and I had been a bit dubious whether to try them or not and I thought well for three pounds even if they're rubbish um, they might be worth a go. So I have done them today and um, the things you will need for this is obviously your nail wraps, um, a nail file, um, possibly a little nail buffer and a hairdryer. Um, so uh, keep watching and I shall show you. Okay so the first thing you need to do is um, get your strip of wraps there and just going to basically size up the ones that you need. I have to say the bad thing about these is the sizes aren't great. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So basically get the ones that you think are going to suit best. Um, so I'm going to use, I think I decided on that one and that one. So those are the two. Um, and what you're going to do first, just to get the nail ready, um, obviously shape them and get them to the length that you want them. Then use a buffing block. Um, you could use a nail file but just be careful, you don't want to take it too far down into the nail bed. Um, and you're just literally going to buff off the very top layer. And all this does basically removes any sort of nail oil that's on there um, and also takes away the shiny surface that your nail naturally has and will allow the sticker or wrap to adhere to the nail a bit better. Um, don't go on and go backwards and forwards because you could very easily take it down um, through all the nail plate and you don't want to do that because it'd be sore. Um, so then what you would do is then pick out the one that you're going to use. So going to go for that one. Now these were quite fiddly earlier when I was trying to get them off. As you can see they don't come out that easily but the idea is you then pull it off and you're going to place it pretty much centre to the nail. And you'll be able to see then if it's more or less going to go to the edges. Now this is when I what I mean about them not being a perfect fit because if you go up to the next one it's going to come way over the nail um, whereas this one's probably going to have small gaps at the edges but you know unless someone's inspecting your nails they're not going to look too bad. So once you've got it in place you're going to get your hair dryer and you're just going to gently put some heat on that nail not too much. <laughs> And all that will do is just soften the wrap completely and then you just can basically press the wrap onto the nail and smooth it out. I did try and do this on my thumb without the heat because I thought oh I don't need that but you do because I got a little air bubble and now I can't stop picking it and I'm sure it's just going to come off really quickly. And then if you need to you could then soften the edge down there but mine's still quite pliable. And then you get your nail file and you basically just file the very edge and this will basically cut off the excess nail um, wrap. And by going over it this way it will basically help it to wrap over the top of the nail almost sort of getting a little bond there and then hopefully it wouldn't lift too much. And then you'll see it just sort of is creating a little line there. So the idea is you just keep going until it basically pops off. Which because I'm doing a video for you is taking forever. So there you go. <laughs> so then what you would do is just get those little edges so that you don't end up with bits peeling away just tidy those up and then go along make sure there's no other bits underneath and there you go so it's quite easy you can probably see ever so slightly at the edge there where there's a little bit of a gap 
Um, but I mean, like I said, unless someone's really inspecting your nails, um, don't panic too much. So I'll just quickly do the other one just to give you um, a little another go. So get the sticker, pop it on the nail, go that in because I bent that in. Bit of heat. And then smooth that out. Apologies if that's really loud for you guys. And then get your nail file and basically buff off the top. Now these sets that I've got, um, like I said before, are from Primark, they're £3. They don't come with any tools, any nail files or um, buffing files or anything, so you do need to have those separately. The majority of you, I guess, will have nail files and things, so if you don't have a buffing block, you could use your nail file just to gently buff over the top, but like I said, please do be careful that you don't go too far with it, because um, it could be very sore. And I assume you could pop a top coat over the top of this and that would help seal in a little bit longer. I haven't done that so I don't know for definite. Um, I will try it though. I'm going to try it on one hand um, almost as an experiment and see whether it lasts any longer than the other. And um, yeah, keep up with me on Twitter so or Facebook. So now that you've seen how super, super easy those are to do, um, I really hope you guys get yourselves down to Primark and buy some nail wraps. They did do them in a few different designs, um, so um, yeah, you can choose whatever you like. Um, keep up with me on Twitter and Facebook to find out how well they last. Um, if you've used them yourself before and have a rough idea, please leave me a comment, let me know. Um, but other than that, I shall see you in the next video. Bye!